<laughs> okay, let's roll it out. Remember, like this, back and forth. What are you What are you making? Dough. What kind of dough? Is it a pretzel? Is it a pretzel? Yeah, we're making a pretzel. So what you want to do is you're gonna roll this out. Roll it out. Okay, roll it out. Try not to break it. Don't break it. Okay. So once it's rolled out, look. No, we can cut it. No, we're not gonna cut this one. You want to leave a little spot in the middle for the mouth of the pretzel. And then you want to make the ends sort of bulbs like that, okay? So you're not tapering this one. Okay, now watch, watch, watch. Hey, look, we're going to pull this towards us. Okay, cross the top. And then you're going to flip this over. No, I made it. And bring the legs down towards you and stretch it out a bit, okay? You want to try that again? I'll do it with you. You can also do it like this. Look, you can also spin it. Oh, you can also spin it around in the air and fold it over. But I think that's a bit advanced for mm, little juniper. Cover. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's do it. Okay, take the middle and pull it towards you. Yeah. Now cross the, cross the arms. Okay, flip it over. And now bring this down. So you have a pretzel. Okay. So we're gonna dip some pretzels in lye. Um, this is sodium hydroxide or lye. If you're buying this, make sure you get a food grade one. What is kind of funny is if you look here, it says used in soap, cleaner, water treatment, and browning of pretzels. Um, you can also do this with baking uh, soda, but I highly recommend um, using lye because the results are, are not quite the same. So we've shaped our pretzels, as you can see here. We let them ferment for half an hour, so they rise. And then we place them in the fridge or freezer until fully chilled. I'm gonna dip these and we're gonna do about 10 seconds per side. If you'll notice the table underneath is covered with plastic. Now this is because if we drip the lye on the table, it's gonna make a little bit of um, it's gonna make a little bit of a mark on the table. So I wanna be covered, I'm gonna wear gloves. If you spill a little bit on you, you can wash your hands really quickly. Um, don't be too concerned, but do take, do take the precautions. Label prominently, make sure you dispose of it right away. So you'll see that it's really easy to handle when they're chilled. If you're trying to do this with a proofing or proofed pretzel, it's really, really, really difficult. After the pretzels are dipped, we're gonna give the mouth a score with this razor blade, and then we're gonna add a little bit of pretzel salt. Now the pretzel salt's really coarse. It's gonna stay on for a while, um, but you could use any sea salt or Florida cell. Traditional pretzels only have it on the mouth, but if you like a really salt, you can put it everywhere. Really important, make sure you have that definition so that you get everything coated and you get a beautiful pretzel. So with the tip of the blade, we're just going to score the mouth open. I do this on a light angle. And then we're going to put a bit of salt. Now make sure you take your glove off because you don't want to dip your hand in the salt. And we're just going to put it on the mouth. Now I like a lot, so I'm going to put a lot. So this pretzel, you can see, I've only dipped half, and that's just so I can show you what happens when you dip half a pretzel. So you'll see the difference. Now we're gonna put these into the oven. The oven's set at 450, and it's gonna take about 15 minutes. Here you can see what happens if you only dip half the pretzel. And you can see what happens when you dip the whole pretzel.